Hello, Paul here. Welcome to my counter section of the 24 hour retro clock. The counter is something you're going to be using six times in this circuit. The video to my left shows the six counters on some breadboard and the basic setup and wiring that you'll need to do to get them to work. Remember counters, in terms of schematics, don't have power and ground shown. So you will need to go and find a data sheet and find out which pins are power and ground for your counters. I'm using the 74LX93. You can also see how output A is fed back to clock input B. This is essential for this particular counter to work. Also, I've joined Reset 1 and Reset 2 together and later you'll see how they're joined to ground through a 1K resistor. Let's talk a little bit about bits. Fundamentally, all digital systems are built upon binary logic. That's ones and zeros. In our system, A represents one or zero, B represents two or zero, C represents four or zero, and D represents eight or zero. The amount of bits a system has denotes how many different values it can represent. A 4-bit system can represent 16 unique values from 0 to 15. Here we can see our counter system running without any reset logic at all. If you trace through the output you'll see it cycles from 0 to digital 15, back to 0, into infinity. In this example, A is high, B and C are both low, and D is high. A is equal to 1, B and C both equal 0, and of course D equals 8. So when you add that together, you get a total value of 9. To make this useful as a clock, we need to use some reset logic. The reset logic I'm going to use is the AND gate. In order to switch an AND gate on, I need to have a digital 1 on both of its inputs. Therefore, when the output of the counter reaches 10, that's B on and D on, the output of the AND gate will go high. When we send a high signal to the reset of our counter, it switches off. The AND gate will also provide the clock signal for the next counter in our chain. Effectively, we're going to need four counters that count 10, 6, 10, 6. You use an AND gate to reset each counter, but also to provide the clock input for the next counter in the chain. That deals with the seconds and the minutes, but the hours is slightly more tricky because we have a situation where we need to reset both counters at 24, yet the first counter needs to count to 10, 10 and 2. And here you can see the process I go through when I'm mapping out logic problems. Quite often I just get out a pen and paper, write out the problem so it's clear, and then find a solution. In this frame we show how we use two AND gates and an OR gate together to reset our counter at 24 hours. We take a reset signal from B and D and we AND that together. And we take a signal from B and C from counter 1 and 2 respectively and we AND that together. The AND signal from 2 and 4, that's B and C, the ANDed signal from B and C is used to reset counter 2 exclusively, but it's also sent to an OR gate where the ANDed signal from the first counter can also be used to reset the first counter. Here you can see a schematic of the 24 hour section logic setup. I hope this counter section has made things a little clearer 
if you're going to go ahead and build this retro 24-hour clock. Goodbye.